Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel and today we're going to teach you how to change your Allison spin-on filter. Today we're going to show you how to change your Allison 1000 spin-on filter. The Allison spin-on filter, the suggested interval on changing these is every 10 or 15,000 miles. You Chevrolet Duramax guys, what we really suggest for you to do is just make it a good habit. Every time you change your fuel filter, change the Allison spin-on filter, which you should probably be doing every other oil change. Might be a little bit overkill, but changing a filter is good, cheap insurance for you not to have a component failure. So, so what we're going to do today, we're going to show you how to change your Allison spin-on filter. This part was supplied to us by Merchant Automotive. To change your Allison spin-on filter, the Allison spin-on filter is on the driver's side of the transmission, close to your front drive shaft for you four-wheel drive guys. Um, to change it, you want to make sure that you've got a pan ready. Uh, you can't see it inside the shop, but we've got a pan here to catch our fluid. We're going to lose a little bit of fluid. It will not continue to leak. Everything in the transmission is not going to, to uh, uh, not going to leak out here, but we're going to lose just a little bit of fluid. So grab a filter wrench. Take this off. You guys want to over tighten these things. I don't know why all the time. So make sure you've got a good filter wrench handy. Have a couple rags with you too, because if you're working on any kind of a automatic transmission component, you're going to wind up wearing the fluid, just like always. And if it's a Monday, it can make for a really bad day for you. Spin the filter on off. All righty. Now when the filter comes down, I'm gonna dump this real quick and show you. There is a magnet. And on this truck, the magnet wound up staying inside of the filter. Sometimes they stay on the filter housing, so just be aware of that. You have got to change the mag. You have got to replace the magnet. So, here's our magnet. I took it off the filter. Sometimes they wind up sticking right there on the housing. So just be aware of that when you change your filter. You've got to clean your magnet. So, take the magnet magnet down. Go ahead and wipe it off. Hit it with a little bit of brake clean. If you see any big metal particles on this, that's a good sign that you're going to need to probably investigate the transmission for a failure, uh, rebuild, or possible replacement of the transmission. So be very aware of that. So we're going to take just a second here to clean this magnet. All right, so we got our magnet nice and cleaned off there. No particles on it or anything. So we're going to go, go ahead and put it back on the back on the fuel the uh, transmission fluid adapter there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and spin our filter on. We like to use the genuine Allison filters here. Uh, the spin-on filter has got a very, very thick gasket around it. So what we like to do, like to take some trans fluid, just go ahead and put a little bit of trans fluid around the, around the filter here, around the O-ring. Then we'll go ahead and spin the new filter on. No need to fill this before you do it. You can if you want to, but this works just fine too. What I do when I'm putting them on is I take it to where the filter actually touches the housing. Once the filter or the, the O-ring, the gasket has touched the housing, once the gasket's touched the housing, about one full turn on the filter is just about as tight as you want to go with this thing. perfect. That's plenty tight. You're not going to have any leaks there. No need to overdo it. Don't make it miserable on the next man to come behind you getting the filter off of it. So that's it. That's changing your Allison spin-off filter. Remember, let's talk about the intervals for a minute here. I like to do this every other oil change. So every 10,000 miles, I'm a stickler of this. I like to change this spin-off filter. This is a super, super easy thing to do. It helps to keep the trans fluid clean. Uh, it just need, it needs to be done. Cheap filters, uh, 
and and just a super easy job to do. I don't know why, but Duramax owners they seem to not want to do this. I think a lot of that is because they think that when they take the spin-off filter off, all the trans fluid's going to come out. I've seen some spin-off filters that have been on trucks 100,000 miles and haven't been changed. So try to break that uh, break that theory on it. You need to change this pretty regularly. It's really going to go a long way into helping your transmission live. So I'm Wade with Thoroughbred Diesel. If you have a question about this installation or any of our other installations, please give us a call, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.